what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl hypnotic lady and i am back with another hair tutorial today i will be showing you guys how i got this look right here y'all and i tried to do the arrogant tay inspired baby hairs y'all this was a video to film but if you guys want to see how i got this look right here please stay tuned don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. all right guys you want to start off with your bald cap i already went off camera and did mine the company we will be working with today is yalissa hair this is their color 27 and this is a body wave unit and i just went ahead and pressed it out this is their 13 by 4 lace wig and it did come in 180 density it does come with adjustable straps and combs and i just wanted to show you guys um, the lace and stuff now you want to go ahead and clean off the perimeter of your forehead those of you who follow me or who's been following me know the process of me doing my glueless installs go ahead and clean the perimeter of your forehead with a cotton swab or um, some type of rag or tissue and now we're going to cut off our excess lace once we cut that off you want to go ahead and try it on and see if you need to cut off any ex extra lace any more extra lace and as you guys see we do so you want to go in and adjust everything and then cut off the excess lace that you need and then we're going to get into the glueless install i will be using um got to be glued products the volume maniac spray and then the yellow got to be glued bottle i'm just going to take a thin layer of got to be glued gel and put that on the perimeter of my hairline and then go in with my blow dryer on a cool setting and then use the spray in between until I get a tacky texture and then we're going to lay the wig down. I always like to take my dryer on a low cool setting because I feel like with using heat, it dries the product up too fast or makes it too tacky too quickly. And it just doesn't work out when doing the glueless. I feel like the gel gets flaky. So now I'm gonna go in with my free spray. And like I said, I went over that after I used the blow dryer and let the gel get tacky already. You want to, um, well, I at least I feel like you should wait for the gel to get tacky before you put the hairspray because as soon as you spray the hairspray on the gel it automatically starts getting tacky i don't know if that makes sense but yeah like i don't like when i do a glueless wig install or um i'm using gel or hairspray and it gets real messy like that's just a no-no for me so i like to use the dryer in between to make sure everything is tacky now we're going to go ahead and press out the lace. I'm just bringing everything up to where I put the glue and now we're going to press everything in. If you need to go back in with extra um, lace glue, not sorry, not glue, lace gel or hairspray, you can. Don't be afraid to. You can go in just like how I did and spray some on your cap and then just use your blow dryer to lay down the lace. Now, I would be careful because this can drip and um, if you let it dry on your face or around your lace, it might turn white, which is a no-no. So, if you do see any excess spray or um, gel that you're not going to be using up under your lace, of course, wipe it off with a alcohol swab. But once you feel that it's tacky enough, you just want to gently press the lace right back in to your skin and then continue on.
once you feel like your lace is secure, we're going to go ahead and start pulling out the baby hairs. Y'all, I know you can tell by the title <laughs> on what I attempted to do. And I still don't feel like I did a great job, but I feel like it looked good enough to, you know, film and take pictures. But I attempted to do the arrogant Tay style baby hairs, you know, where he has them like all up front, on the sides, everywhere. So, yeah. What I've seen, I've seen people do on YouTube um, and like on Instagram is they just pull out a thin layer of baby hairs going across the hairline um, or, you know, wherever your lace stops. Just pull out a thin layer of baby hair on the, rim, on the perimeter of your hairline and I go in and pluck them because I feel like they're too thick. But from what I've seen on Instagram, a lot of people, they just cut them go ahead and cut them but if you feel like the hair that you pulled out is still too thick go ahead and pluck that first then go ahead and cut now I've already got one side out and now I'm pulling out the other side for my baby hairs and then once you get all of them out on each side we're going to go ahead and start cutting our baby hairs Before I go in and trim my baby hairs, I am going to go in with a pair of tweezers and thick spots of hair that I see in the hairline where I've pulled out from my baby hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and thin those out with a pair of tweezers. This part is optional, um, but I do suggest, like I said, if you can just tell like that looks like a lot of hair, tweeze it, honey, because your baby hairs are supposed to be thin. They're not supposed to be thick or long, so you know, make it do what it do to make it look right, sis. I'm just taking my hot comb and I'm just gonna smooth everything back away from my baby hair so I know I can see the you know line of demarcation but this part is also optional as well you don't actually have to do this um, if your wig is already flat enough don't do it but as as you guys can see I wanted everything to be knit nice sleek neat so I went ahead and slicked everything back now i know i usually use scissors for my baby hairs but for this tutorial i've noticed that arrogant tay uses a razor or um an eyebrow razor so i went to my local beauty spa store and bought one and that is what we're using now i don't know how you would guide on how short your baby hairs would be but all i do know is if they're too short they won't look right and if they're too long they will look ugly so try to just get in between of where you're trying to lay them and of course to lay down my baby hairs i'm going to be using the got to be glued gel i use the yellow bottle and here i am just taking a little bit and putting the gel on the hair and then i'm going to use my comb to do like little i guess mini swoop like motions until i get the shape or look that i'm going for y'all i really don't have like an ideal look that i was going for i just seen a picture that i was trying to mimic off of um instagram and yeah you know how that goes so it did take me a minute to get this down y'all don't feel rushed or you know feel like you have to get on your first try because you don't practice and practice and practice um like i said i still feel like i didn't do my baby hairs exactly how i wanted them but they came out decent enough but yeah like I said, guys, you just want to part out a thin row, tweeze them, 
then we're going to cut them with our straight razor and then you want to go ahead and start laying as you guys can see um i did like some simple swoops on the side my ear tabs and then i had the baby hairs coming down in the front which was giving me the arrogant tay vibes so i'm just going to complete that and do the same thing on the other side and then once we get done with that we're going to go ahead and tie our hair down this is what my edges are looking like and i'm just using this silk um or satin headscarf and i'm going to tie my edges down and let that sit for about 10 or 15 minutes now that they're dry i went ahead and took my head wrap off and i'm using my hot comb to press out my hairline because i decided i wanted to do a side part instead of keeping it in the middle part that we originally had so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and take my hot comb and just press out how i want my hair to lay and now we are going to get into actually styling of the hair i am of course going to use my babyless pro curling iron um, I use this in all my videos and I'm just going to be curling away from my face. I am left-handed so doing the right side of my head I have to like put my arm behind my head or some type of way to get the curl but you see the idea that I'm going for you want your curls to go away from your face and fall kind of downwards like a Shirley Temple motion but yeah we're just going to complete this until we finish till we get the finished look and then that'll be it. Now, I did want to let you guys know that I did go ahead and layer this hair before I filmed because um, I know y'all are probably going to be wondering like why my curls didn't turn out like how that did or you know, but I just want to let you know I did go ahead and layer the hair. I went ahead and plucked the hairline, bleached knots and everything off camera, layered the hair and everything off camera so that way when we got into the install process, it can be quick and easy fairly so that way, um, you know, we're not taking up all this time. But yeah, I'm just going in, part my hair in small sections and curling away from my face. The goal is to curl away from your face. And when you curl towards your face, the curls really don't be looking right. They fall all weird. So yeah, curl away from your face. And um, of course, if you have layers, the curls will lay better than it would than just having long straight hair. So if you want some layers, you can go in with a pair of shears, or if you wanna be on the safe side, you can take like a razor comb and just go along the free edge of your hair until you get a layered look. But we're almost done with this look. I just got a couple more curls and then that will be the finished look.
And before we complete the finished look, you want to go in with some concealer or I went in with some concealer and just define my part a little bit more because I felt like you couldn't see it and I hate not being able to see a part with your wigs. It's like a dead giveaway. But yeah, you want to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to take this wax stick to lay down any flyaways and to press out my hairline one last time with my hot comb. And I do have my hot comb set to, I think, 500 or 450 degrees. Um, I feel like the hotter, the better, and, you know, the flatter it'll look. So, yeah, I'm just going in and pressing out my hairline one last time before we get ready to brush out the curls. And then that will be the completed look. All right, guys, this is the finished look, y'all, and I'm in love, 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 y'all. This hair is giving me Mariah Carey vibes, Beyonce vibes, like the honey and the brown roots just did it for me. And then I layered the fuck out of this hair. So, <laughs> baby, these curls are sitting. Look at it. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so obsessed. And, y'all, this is Yolissa hair. This is their 27 um, Honey Blonde wig, and it did already come pre-colored. All I did was go in and add the brown roots. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to see more videos like this, comment below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Please stay tuned. Bye. Mwah.